Mark a, Norman, I'm and he picked, a, he picked. More of an NFT guy. Oh. oh. I don't like the tangible stuff. <laughs> hey, the Gill. Hey, hey, Shane Gillis, hey, hey. I got one for you later if right. we can. Yeah, there you go. And All we got right. Sam here too. What's up? He's a card. Yeah. Ah, okay. I think they're going to do their oh, I'm going to open the growing pains. You good? You ready? Why do you like growing pains? I grew up with the show. Remember Boner? Oh, they got the gum. This yeah, is yeah. Like 80 year old gum here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I loved it. It was a great, <laughs> was it was a great movie. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. don't drink. Don't drink. The, what was the three things? It was Jeez. after midnight. Well, I didn't love it that much. Fuck. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And your favorite character, of course, was Boner. I like Boner a lot. <laughs> I like Boner a lot. It's before we knew what, the, what it meant. Mom of the year right there. Yeah. Getting the stories to Julie, his beleaguered wife, who had just said, like he said, did I ever tell you about my uncle, uh, Ezra? No, Gabe. Tell me about your uncle. Marcia Strassman, I think was her name. Wow. And then I think the guy from Love and Spoonfield, John Sebastian, sang the song, Welcome Back, Cotter. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. And then when he was on SNL, even though it was live, he started singing the theme, and then he messed up, and he said, can I start again, forgetting that it was live. live. Right, right, right. I remember that. Yeah. And it's all good. Okay, it doesn't Why you matter. look like Gabe Kaplan? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Welcome back. You know, freaking uh, dreams uh, of you to get out. Garofalo opened Welcome Back, Carter. Really? And she she was in the skit on SNL, and she picked the card of the girl that she played, which That's was Chaplin's wife. Crazy, and, Julia. Her name was yeah, Julia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was insane. Wow. It was insane. Who is up to need you? Who is up? Right there, where we need you. There. Well, we tease them a lot, cause we got them on the spot. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Dude, they had eight songs back then. Comedians open cards! Welcome back! Comedians open cards! 2024, welcome to ya. Bye, 2023. Funny times. Lots of specials. I watch none. Go see the comedy live. New York City, drive there. You can sleep in your car. <laughs> you can see five, six comics per show on the cheap Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when they're in the city practicing. That's where comedy lives. Don't watch it on freaking this. Go see it live. Be a part of it. That's what comedy's about. Be a part of it in the fact that you're an audience. Don't be a part of it as the fact of, you know, that crap. But you're a part of it. Your laughing is what feeds it. Be there. And then when fun. I was briefly on SNL, they did a Welcome Back Potter sketch where I played Marsha Strassman. Oh, I got wow. to say, no, Gabe, tell me about it. Look at the gum. The guy. Okay, so if we're lucky, we might get a Farley, we might get a Spade, we might get a Rock or a Schneider, but there's probably gonna be Phil Hartman, some Dana Carvey. Wait, are you saying that you don't want the Phil Hartman? No, I love oh, Phil Oh, yeah, my God. Oh, and what it... Oh! <laughs> I am so... There's a... The Bulls. Da oh! Bulls. Da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls, Oh, da what da a classic. Bulls. This is amazing. That's a classic. <laughs> Oh so probably you're goodness. not going to sign that one and give that one back to me. You'll probably keep that one. If I can hold on to this one. Well, you I get mean, all but one. All but one? You oh, just have to sign one. Dude, yeah, oh, yeah. easy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right away, my eye was drawn to the Magnum P.I. How could it not Bubble be? Bubblegum cards. Yes. Right. Because you and remember that show? I love that show. Right. When I was a boy growing up, I wanted to be a private investigator living in Hawaii. Well, sure. I didn't know they had bubblegum. I had no idea. Yeah, I, a lot I figured of it would get into his mustache. It, it, cr it crumbles. So yeah. The gum, that's, yeah. That gum's not supposed to do that. No. It's, it wasn't even good back in the day. See, on KOTV. Awesome. You, you keep the sign, card? You keep the card, just sign one. You are the second person to eat the gum. Mark Norman also ate the gum. Oh, my God. That's like 1980s gum. Dude. Oh, sure. That guy last night. What guy oh. last night? There was a guy outside the cellar that was like a glimpse. I mean, he was cr Ghost of Christmas Future V, and he was a crazy man. No, he was you like, said oh, Ghost of Christmas Future I was of making us. you feel better, but that dude is you, you in the future. You fucking cunt. No. No. It was us. That dude was scrambled. I have you on video saying us. I'm a good friend. What was he like? What was the guy like? All right, so what's going to stop? No, stop, no. I said stop. 
Come over here, you fucking psychopath. What the fuck is coming? On? He's taking over the whole thing. Santa took over. I mean, he had a backpack. <laughs> oh, yeah, the backpack was, yeah. I, I legit have a picture of you with your glasses on your forehead and him they were with your glasses, glasses on the forehead. They were your glasses. <laughs> with your face. <laughs> this like that. Ian, really quick? Ian, what are you doing? Why are you... Because, Ian, you know... This is great. Ian is... Ian, I mean, fuck, when you were doing the shit with uh, Atel, Sorry. that was the bomb. Oh, thanks. Your podcast is great. This guy was... He, he was holding a brown paper bag of beer <laughs> and trying to get a bunch of comics to open packs of cards and then talk about them, which we did, and it was fine, but he was just so like, and another thing, and another thing, and he had to sign them, and I wrote, hey, calm it down. Thank you. This is like the least popular the movie camera. in the world. Bacon, and it's, this, calm it's my it down. Fucking Holy Dude, shit. Fucking. Yeah, the card. I'll, I'll eat the gum. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have to. Yeah, and if you would just sign one for me and stuff, and uh, how's the comedy going, man? Great. You do a lot of singing and stuff, and you've got a podcast where you do a thing about all the albums. Josh Adam Meyer's also eating the gum. You're number four. Oh. Yeah, it's not good. I mean, it's from... <laughs> Why? Oh, Why do they do it? Why do they do it? It's just like synthetic. Yeah, it's for Simeon, it just dissolved in his mouth. It disappeared. Mark chewed it for a while. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no, but can he just get a quick smile? Picture with of you course, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. What a what a life you are living. That is incredible. Yeah, it was insane. That, geez, yeah. I, okay. I can't believe you ate the gum too. <laughs> it doesn't. Tr it, there's no gum. It's, it's gone. Gum? You're the bomb. The there was gum, yeah. Uh, it was like a oh, comedian. Is gum in here? Yeah. It's oh shit. Mark this Norman like ate the gum. No, I'm not gonna do that. That'll Simeon like ate the cancer. gum. I'll give uh, it to someone else. Josh Adam Myers ate the gum. No one's been happy with their decision. Wow. That's, yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, what has it been in here since like 1989 or something? Yeah, whenever the freaking cards came oh, out. Look at this. So show like now, the what's thing. the and, point and, of this? A point of what? The cards. Your joy. The, the cards joy themselves? Yeah. Or what we're doing? No, nah, what we're doing, <laughs> I, I get. I get and there is no point to it. Okay, but what right. is the point to this? Well, obviously, like the Brian, if I lose my perfect five I know, star I'm, rating, I'll, I'm gonna I'll, shoot somebody. I'll, I'll pay you money, whatever it is. Oh yeah, cause cause I yeah to slide in. Uh... Where are you going? I gotta go. But that doesn't answer where. Where are you going? <laughs> uh, I'm going back to the hotel. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate. And you just are rocking. You just you know. Bouncing around. And everyone has such good things to say about you. So it oh, seems like nice. it, it seems like it. And obviously you're funny as hell, but it seems like it's. It's nice to see, you know, it's going there with someone good. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, as far as I can tell. Two <laughs> <laughs> cards came from the tarot. All right, I gotta go yeah. jack off in a theater. Oh. <laughs> well, why not though? I mean, isn't that the place to do it? Yeah. yeah. Back in the day. I mean, that was. It was place, right? Yeah. He was doing what had to be done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was getting, he was getting the job done. Yeah. He was getting in, getting some, people, some people have a bar mitzvah. Dude, uh, there's a lot of people yeah. are in their fucking right. Nobody mitzvah. wants to work these days. <laughs> yeah, and now I mean, it's, it's like the M&M store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. All these fucking young dudes, dude, going to the M&M store eating candy. Dude. Kiwi was going to porn theaters and doinking his doink in his hometown, dude. He, he was getting the job done for all of us. It wasn't a porn theater. It wasn't? It was E.T. No, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me see that ET. ET's e. great. ET's e. e. nice. Can't go wrong with that. Young Drew Barrymore. Oh my god, yeah. We still doing that blow back then? If the was eight years old, doing blow? I can open it, right? Yeah, that's the idea. You okay. open one and then just sign one at the end. Talk about whatever you, you know, why do you pick ET? Because you. You know, everybody knows ET, extraterrestrial, and who don't feel like an outsider? Mm. I mean, I think they were still talking to exactly the black people in this country. When E.T. came out. It was so weird, that magical thing when they took off on the bikes, though. Yeah. Definitely. Like, that was kind of weird. I mean, he had powers of an alien. I'm sure he could do other things. I day. guess. And then now, though, because he dressed in he dressed in women's clothes, I don't know if that would be like, you can't show it maybe anymore because of the freaking Oh, that's right. Time that's period. Yes. And then Dennis Rodman was next. It was first E.T., then he <laughs> in, in a dress. And they took the guns out. In E.T., the, the, in the original movie, the dudes had guns, the right. agents, and they turned them into flashlights or something. That's right. Yeah, which That's is whack. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what they didn't have enough in E.T.? What? Anal probing. <laughs> that finger? You know that finger with the light on it? Oh, yeah. That finger with the light on it going somewhere. And you know where it is. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs>
And you used to room with Soda, I think. Yes. Weren't you guys roommates for a long time? And we're lovers. Well, I say it. I I assumed, but I didn't want to, you know. (laughs) You're out and about. We're out and about. (laughs) Roger Rabbit, he gives hopes to us all. If you're a weirdo who looks funny, you can still score a hot babe who's out of your league if you're funny enough. Yeah, she was rather hot. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And I'm jingle, ladies. Hey, Kyle. We got a girl on it. Hey, I don't know if you remember, you did my show, Comedians Opening Cards, No Coffee. You opened like Rocky Three or Five. My David. hair was a little longer. You yes! David. Kyle, you got it. I don't it. know, I didn't recognize you. Well, because my hair, I cut my hair. Because now it's freaking. But I remember you, David. Yeah, because, yeah. yes, perfect. You I gave me a gum that, that was growing and a Rocky too. Oh, because you took Growing Pains home. I took Rocky Yes. And, Rocky too. and you said you were going to go see Oppenheimer. Yeah. You were excited yes. to see that movie. Yes. I don't know if you saw it. Everybody's uh, excited about that movie. Yeah, yeah. She's excited about tennis. Yeah, because yeah, uh, Djokovic, 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 Djokovic tonight. Djokovic tonight did something. Do yeah. you? Do Wait, you there was a lot of Djokovic's tonight. The Djokovic yes. wins? On stage. You said Djokovic. The Djokovic win? Yeah. It's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and I'm here with Al Lubell. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. I remember this man from back in the day and still going strong. I don't know if strong is the right word. <laughs> well, I, I, I think so. I'll go along with going. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so and there's... still, and still. And still. Still going. Exactly. How about still going week? Still going each and every week. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? Still going week each and every week. Oh, still going strong each and every week. <laughs> <laughs> still but going. I've always gone week. I always feel I'm... I don't want to spend too much energy. Like, sure, that's going. reasonable. And I don't even know if I have the energy. Yeah. But I don't know if I've ever really gotten strong. There have been little periods where I've gotten strong, like where I was going to do The Tonight Show for the first time, right. or Letterman for the first time. Right. I worked like a lunatic. Well, a long period to try to prepare, because it was a deadline. Right. I have to admit that I went strong then. Right, of course. But in general, unless I'm forced into something, right. I will not go strong, I will go weak. Right, right, right. And I'm not proud of that. Sure, it's sure, just sure. Because I'm inherently lazy. Right, well, so, but that's good, because then you can go weak or strong. Right. Right. Sort of like coffee. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a quick coffee. I'm, I'm cutting down on coffee. It's too, I drink too strong it's too coffee. Strong. Well, I'm naturally anxious. I'm drinking strong coffee, yet it makes me weak. Yeah, so maybe if you drink weak coffee, it'll make you strong. It would, actually. Right, so there we go. Oh, I think that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> we solved it. <laughs> All right. Rad dudes. Rad dudes. Rad dudes. Let's see how rad Oh, you're are. going with rad dudes. Rad dudes. That's dudes. awesome. Now, why did you pick rad dudes? Because I love rad dudes. <laughs> I love how rad they are. They're just close-ups Ooh, of his face. I need to be alone for a minute. Yes, these are definitely... They're just close-ups of his face. Slam shots. Wow. I can't see anything these together? at school. <laughs> <laughs> <They're not laughs> I mean, can I be honest? This is the worst fucking playing cards ever. Here's a picture of them eating. Cards. Here's a picture of them eating. They're just talking to each other. And there's a piece of gum that is old wait, as wait. fuck. Mark Norman eat the gum. I eat shit. No, and I'm like, dude, how is it? He's like, not good. I'm not like, good. yeah, it's from the freaking 80s, man. Yeah, I do. Love <laughs> well, the card. And there it is. This is the eighth pairing of these two on the card. So you liked Dallas for a couple years? For a couple years. And, then and I was... tell you, based on the fucking, these cards, never again. Nice, I got Gizmo. Oh, right off the bat. Let's go. Gizmo rookie card. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Usually the lower the number, the harder it. Like, number one's always the hardest one to get. The guy getting attacked by a gremlin from the roof. Ooh. <laughs> Could have been 9-11 answer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, that's so creepy. You, you ever seen a lot of their masks on? Well, it's okay. Like I said, Norman freaking ate it. And then, oh, uh, it's like it's uncircumcised. uncircumcised. That's them without their mask on, by the way. Oh, yeah. wow. I feel like you're seeing it. Like, like you I don't, said, it's, it's like a like turtle without a shell. Oh I don't like God. it. Yeah, that's a naughty card. It's like making a naughty card. It's like making a Yeah, right? Winnie the Pooh with no shirt. Next time, turtles. No, 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 we did one of these recently. Oh, did you go get that? We did the podcast. We ordered a bunch. Oh, you did one for that. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, this is Officer Judy Hoffs again in a bit of a sexy pose. However, on the back, another piece of the puzzle. Oh. And it's amazing. And Sean Patton is great. you got to see him live. And so this is... Uh, Watch the special on Peacock. I forget which Osbrook it is. Ozma starts as a boy, and the little boy turns into Princess Ozma. Wow. It's uh, uh it ahead of its re- time. yeah, exactly relevant for today. Although uh, realistically, so, like supposedly in some Indian tribes and stuff, 
the, if you were like um, uh, between sex thing, any of that stuff, you were like a shaman, and you were like outside of society. You, you oh, really? Yes, you like lived outside of the thing, but people would come to you for their problems and to ask you stuff because you had more knowledge about both no sides. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah. Different societies at different times have been ahead of us, below. You know what I right? mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just everything changes. The because uh, they are interesting. What do you mean by wavy? What's that mean? Wavy means cool. Wavy uh, is a cool term. Fire. Is... Fire. Wow, wavy. Fire. Same See, I thought synonyms. like I were like there. I thought maybe they were like not like in focus. No, no, wavy. But like, wavy. I didn't know. Wavy, like. No, I know, but. I... Come on, let. <laughs> 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 He's just overwhelmed. I told you, comedians are assholes. Because they don't understand performance art. Comedians are assholes. They don't They're understand not performance funny. art. He's not even funny. You're not even funny. You're you didn't see him. He's hilarious, actually. He's actually hilarious. He's actually hilarious. You've just overwhelmed him. Sorry, I tried, you guys. <laughs> Oh, that was so awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, so Dave. Much.